Greetings from the Void. My name is Alpha. I'm here with the Jogman, and I'm here with Claire. And today, as you can tell by this precarious hallway, <laughs> that we're doing some very different today. <laughs> um, welcome to Volts. <laughs> Everyone's wearing hazmat suits. I, I'm looking a little <laughs> naked right now. So yeah, we're in. Yeah, we're uh, we're kind of going into Claire. nuclear war. I have some cake. Oh God. Oh, my favorite. Yeah. Amazing. You, you don't want to hold it for too long though, because it, even though you do have the hazmat suit, it's constantly draining the durability on it. It's got a lot of it, it's got a lot of durability, but you don't want to waste it if you don't have some. Tea. Let's pop that back in the chest there. Ah, I see my cocoa beans are growing. Mm -hmm. I also so, planted the melons and got the villagers organized that way we can do melon. So, some of you alphas are wondering, why the hell do you already have gear and shit? Where is it? What, is this episode one? Actually, yeah, this is episode one, because the original episode one, uh, I did a fuck up. <laughs> so alpha many beautiful did... moments were lost. Well, no, they're not lost, because here's all the beautiful moments right now. Well, just to the ravine and also down this way is where we are thinking of putting the, uh, the science pit. Ah, uh, sci the science pit. <laughs> the s that is the greatest name I've heard of yet. The science pit. <laughs> the pit that is science. <laughs> yeah, you, know what we do? you know what we should do, which is totally it's not- It's just the science pit. <laughs> you, know, you know what we should do? That's totally not a bad idea in any way possible. We should use one of these nukes to create room. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe get some copper along the way. Yeah, we'll get some copper. <laughs> I cannot find the way out. Not the way out. God. Damn. <laughs> How the hell do I get out of here? <laughs> well, you see all those signs that say this is not the way out. Well, just go the other way. I fell for that twice already. <laughs> I just typed into Google how to build a fission reactor. I'm, I'm certain there's no FBI agents watching me anymore. <laughs> Hello, NSA. How you doing? <laughs> I'm not trying to build an actual fission reactor. It's just a game. <laughs> just, like, just like, watch this guy. You can go back to watching Cody's lap now. <laughs> <sighs> I was holding this in my hand behind you the whole way up here. <laughs> You'll learn the cave soon enough. Uh, don't die. Uh, trying to process the concept of not die. <laughs> uh, I'm doing a bit of redecorating and I had to move your bed. What? 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 It's, it's in the same spot, but I had to pick it up and put it back down. What? Uh... Uh... <laughs> I, I'm, I'm making your void hole, void cave, into a proper void cave. It's just like, I'm gonna, I, I, I'm gonna risk my friend's life just to make his home look pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, yeah, uh, just, you know, your life is in mortal danger right now. Really? Why? Well, I made your room look better. <laughs> what the fuck, man? <laughs> Hello, teacher. Why does he trade? He trades for a flint and steel. Are you sure this guy's a safe guy <laughs> to have around here? <laughs> he, he, he may set our base on fire. <laughs> Oh, hello, Alpha. Welcome ding, to home. Ding dong. Ding dong. Ding dong. Oh my god! <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> ah. It's the doorbell! <laughs> oh my god. Somehow I knew that was gonna be involved in some way. <laughs> oh god. I'll full get behind you! Just 
Like, I have a sudden <laughs> urge to stab you for that. <laughs> I saw some green behind me, and I was like, I'm, I'm about to swing. <laughs> now, the, the jokes that I enjoy the most are the ones about things that don't exist, which is why I always laugh when someone mentions your parents. <laughs> oh! <laughs> How? God! <laughs> I love my alphas are gonna watch this video and be like really concerned. It's like, uh. Oh, do they not know the backstory? They do not know the backstory of Alpha. <laughs> so they're gonna think I'm an actual orphan or something. Uh, maybe if you bleep out the audio for a few minutes, we can share coordinates real quick. And uh, just to prevent you from uh, getting lazy about it, I can give you a legitimate reason to bleep out the audio. Uh, uh okay. So, uh, the cord's off. Well, okay. Just going to have to censor that, I guess. Yeah, you can censor that and then just extend it to get the cords. <laughs> uh... Called efficiency, Alpha. God damn You're it. proud of me? You know, you know what? That's probably that. <laughs> I'm laughing because with you saying <laughs> is actually going to help me edit this. <laughs> Alpha behind you. I'm not falling for that. <laughs> you said it in that specific tone of voice on purpose, didn't you? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> You're such a troll, god damn it. <laughs> Alpha, in front of you. How the f did that work? Oh, you used a safari net. I was like, a zombie just spawned as I mined that block. It's like, what? Uh, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave them I alone. see that field spark net. That's <laughs> a... You got, you got a cave spider. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not gonna let you capture that. No, oh, no, no. Oh, he's fine. <laughs> it's fine, Alpha. <laughs> you have a cave spider spark net. Nothing is fine. <laughs> Alpha behind you! <laughs> Just going to, uh, stay back on the wall! <laughs> Just going to, uh, make all these lovely torch- This is- I, this is shit. I cannot trust this guy! Alpha behind you! <laughs> I know you have that freaking cave spider. I've also got another creeper as well. Why? <laughs> Alpha behind you! Stop! No! Oh. When I get sounds, that's no longer gonna work on me. You need to realize this. <laughs> when I get sounds, you will ruin the day. <laughs> you will ruin the day. If I hear an alpha behind you and I don't hear anything, <laughs> I am not going to believe you. <laughs> wow, weren't those some beautiful moments? <laughs> <laughs> the magic of Hollywood. <laughs> Hollywood magic. <laughs> okay, so I see a lot has changed since I was last on. Holy heck. I'm yes. going to... I'm gonna go here, and I got my sounds working from last time, so Jog can't do that alpha behind you bullshit. Behind you! I'm not falling for that. <laughs> <laughs> I got sounds working now. Okay. Yes, we, we, we've got a fission reactor down below. Come check it out. Um, I feel like I should... <laughs> a little naked Hey, you don't need a hazmat suit yet. Once it's up and running, you will need one, though. Yeah, I'm also still working on getting all the uh, turbines made. Ah, I see. 
Why is there glowstone in a fission reactor? Uh, to to keep to really drive it home to you that this is not something you want to get close to. I see. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse us, we yeah. just spin around. <laughs> yeah, let me let me just go yeah. for a swim in the uh, the coolant. Yeah. Maybe give her a hug. Yeah. Uh, we're wearing hazmat suits. We're fine. This glowstone is going to make me sick, so I'm just gonna back away from the glowstone. Question: uh, is, Does glowstone still affect you if you're to wear a hazmat suit? Yes, it would. Really? Yep. Interesting. Yeah. It messes with my head and then makes me all ill and slow and shit. It's like, eh. It's like, no, no, daddy, I don't want the space aids. Except the aids of the space. <laughs> Alright. So, last I was on, you guys needed wool. Or uh, yeah. Yes, we do have a sheep pen going, but we're still waiting on grass to reach it. Yep. I just moved some cows over, so we're gonna start the breeding program. Let's see this sheep pen. There they are. Wow, okay. And you have this pathway to- Ah, I see the grass block over there. Dear God! Yes. <laughs> I started that this morning. Okay. Like, this grass has been grown for like, hours and hours and hours and it's still not here quite yet. Oof. It takes so long. Alright. Holy heck. I see you have four windmills now. Uh, yeah, mountain power. I'm gonna have to freaking uh, blur that out because I clicked C and it opened the coordinate window. Mm, for the waypoints, so I'm gonna have to blur that out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mars has been talking about how he's got a plan to find our base. Yep. Yeah. Basically, he's going to hop into a galactic craft rocket and fly it around the overworld. That's how he's gonna do it? Yeah, his plan is just to fly in like the different directions from his base. Yeah. And just hope that he passes over us and he'll just see us on the minimap. I see. Do these crops still grow? Yeah. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. I was, I was just making sure. I was like, uh... I mean, there's ice. <laughs> I've harvested them a few times, well, which is the, how you got that pack of bread. The ah. thing about it, though, is that the, the water will hydrate any crop that's within four blocks, and so these farms are actually very poorly designed, the ones that actually generate, because the water doesn't mm -hmm. have to go along the whole length. Yeah, I And I so I, I, I place down torches on the ends, and that'll melt the water right at the end, and that's enough to hydrate it. Alright. Mm -hmm. The more you know. This goddamn wind. Mountain power, man. Mountain power. <laughs> okay, so you got a sheep pen going, but you need grass. So let me just. So now I need to think of what I need to do next. Uh, um, go mining. I guess that's all I really can do. Or you can help me build the cow do. pen. I mean, I'm gonna start building the cow pen so you can help me with that. You know what? You know what I could do? Hold on. Basic Minecraft. That's what I could do. An enchantment table with the chance of getting a Fortune 3 pickaxe get even more diamonds. That, or I could get a Silk Touch pickaxe and get sheep going, like, instantly. Yes, please. I mean, I'm already at 15 levels of experience, so I might as well try that. However, that's going to cost me cost us five diamonds to do so. Unless someone has a diamond pickaxe, and that's like two diamonds. Do we already have nope, a diamond I've pickaxe? Just... Or... Nope, I've just been working with iron ones. Alright, yep. I guess we're going to have to start... <laughs> we're, we're sacrificing diamonds to get more diamonds. I mean, I do have 24 levels, and since we have the cows here, we could make some books to enchant. 
Yes. And I did bring some books from a village uh, that I raided. Yeah, 40 Excellent. books in here. Alright. I'm going to hopefully not lose this diamond pick. I've seen on the store these right there. these diamonds right in here. There we go. And I'm going to get some obsidian. There we go. Gotta make sure things are in order. There we go. <clears throat> What is this? Oh, let's see. Okay. The science pit. Alright. Their valuables. Two diamonds. Alright. So, I heard from Jogby, uh, I had a skeleton grinder. Uh, yes. That might be useful at some point. Anyway, now that we have this enchantment table. I've also found a standard spider spawner, though I haven't gotten a grinder set up yet. Okay. Where do I place this enchantment table? <laughs> Anywhere, man. See how many bookcases we can make. See if we can get to the level 30. If the freaking enchantment table actually works. There we we still need like another 84 bronze before we can finish off the turbines for the reactor. He's uh doing game dev tycoon uh about like half an hour ago. And now he's doing the universe and can't make up his mind. God, we need to get we need to get red into modded. I feel like I feel like red would have a blast with nuclear war. <laughs> Stairs at excess maps. <laughs> oh, we need to finish playing this at some point. Yeah. I did a bad thing. Help. Hi. Did you fall through the glass panes? Uh... Maybe. Okay, well, here's what you do. Don't break them. They're not gonna break, you just gotta place a water bucket up there and then just swim through the hole in the floor. Okay. There we go. Gee, that actually did work. There you go. Look at that. Nice! And now, uh, here's a thing that make you lose your mind. Oh, sick! Hmm! We got all the wool we need now. Where'd that come from? Well, let's just say we now are a bigger target on the map now. <laughs> huh? If I... Let's just say if there isn't a hint to tell, to tell people where our base is now, there's a bigger hint now. <laughs> what would that be? 
sheared sheep. <laughs> ah. I just started shearing wild sheep. I found like a large pack in the snow biome nearby. I was like, oh my god. Nice. I broke shears doing that. <laughs> I'd say it's worth it. Uh, I mean, by the time anyone realizes, all the sheep's gonna grow back their wool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but we, I believe that we have basically all the wool we're ever gonna need for this, so. Eh, uh, you never know. I mean, Marson did the calculations needed for a nuclear bomb, like adding in all the steps, and that only needed, like, around 200 wool. So I think that since we have, like, what, eight full packs of it, we're probably fine. Honestly, like, to prevent salt, if our base gets blown up, sure, whatever, like, it, it, it's not a huge loss. All that, all this progress doesn't really matter, <laughs> to be honest. Like, imagine, like, this is what people have to deal with. Like, in real life. It's like, any time, the stress that any time, at any given moment, boom. Just a white well, there, flash and everything's well, just gone. There's a difference, though, because when it was the Cold War between the United States and the Soviet Union, it was like, okay, we don't, we both don't like each other. But we both also realize that as soon as someone pushes the button, everyone pushes the button, and neither of us wants to die. Yeah. Now you've got us here, we don't want to die. But then you've got Hydra over there, they don't care if they die, they just want to see the world burn. <laughs> so it's not, it's, it's, not, it's not really the same situation. But the thing is, I don't really care if I die, but... <laughs> I do. I haven't died yet, I want to keep it that way. I pride myself on my ability to not die in this game. Well, now today is the mod pack where you throw away all pride and just move forward! <laughs> I refuse. Well, when, when that nuke happens, you're just gonna have to be forced to accept. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. <laughs> Minecraft has some really impressive wooden chests that are able to contain radiation. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see this thing. I haven't seen this thing and seen like blocks like this in so long. There we go. Uh, yeah. All right. This is it. That's it. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, and if you want to see like the guts of it, it's down here. And like down here is where I'm gonna have to come if I wanted to actually uh to actually put the fuel in. I'm assuming that siren's like warning this thing's gonna nuke. Uh no, th basically what it'll, it'll do is uh, when it's running, it's gonna heat up over time. And uh, if it reaches a temperature of 2,000 degrees, it'll it'll melt down. But I have it the thermometer set up so that when it reaches uh, 1,500, it will turn on the siren basically, and also extend the control rod, which will turn it off for a while to cool down. Ah. You know, nuclear power is uh fairly clean and it will last a long time but it'll run out eventually there we go and now we have 30 level enchants ready we have a full enchant table nice Here I'm nearly at 30 levels I hear the siren go off. Yeah, I'm currently monitoring the reactor to make sure it does what it's supposed to do. Do, 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 do. And my concern is growing.
Yeah, the control rod doesn't seem to be actually controlling with the rod. Oh dear. We um, didn't we didn't blow up, so it's not unsuccessful, huh? That's a good point. When you're dealing with nuclear materials, any day that ends without an explosion is a good day. <laughs> A very good point. I yeah, I suppose one thing you can maybe try and do, Elf, is uh, try and get our portal moved so it's hidden inside the, uh, the netherrack wall. Instead yeah. of just out in the open, it'll be harder to find. Well, moving the portal is going to be harder to do. However, what if we get some one-side yeah, glass? Yeah, it is a pain. Yeah, why, why don't we get some one-side glass and like conceal it in like, what looks like to be terrain? Because this is a mountain right here. It would be really hard to make it look natural, though. I could make it look natural. Go for it. I'm just going to need a shit ton of netherrack and... Hey, maybe we can turn the netherrack into one-side glass so we can actually see everything. Observe the nether. <laughs> I mean, it's possible. I could do it. Alright, this is a stupid idea, but I'm doing it anyway. I have made an electric bow. Nice! So I'm assuming this thing just fires normal arrows. Yeah, it seems to be the only thing that I can think of that shoots. 49 arrows, that should get me through the nether. I'll take the extra feathers and flint. Some more ammunition. You can, you can use sugar to light torches. I, I made a charge pad. It's a pad that does charge. I don't know where to place it though. Um, place it like right here, with the power cables. Oh, it's charging the bow. I just have to stand yeah. on it. Yeah, do you remember my little uh, regeneration alcove that I had on uh, the Redcraft server? Mm -hmm. Yep, that's what uh, these are. Ah. I mean, so far this is just a normal bow. start dealing with pink slime um basically you set up a pig farm with a slaughterhouse and when it slaughters the pigs it'll get it'll give you like uh liquid meat and with that you can make the pink slime <laughs> 